Hi, and welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you or teaching you what forward DNS and reverse DNS is, and talk a little about how these two are being used. So why don't we just jump straight into it? Well, the forward lookup zones or the forward DNS, because I'm calling it a lookup zone, it's because when you usually have to configure this, you go in and make zones, but that's for another topic. But yeah, forward DNS is when you know a domain name, but you do not know the IP address. So first time you go out to google.com on the internet, you do not know the IP address of google.com. So you have to send a DNS query to your DNS server and that you do by seeing down here on the drawing. So you will request to your DNS server, what is google.com's IP address so I can use google.com. And then your DNS server will respond with the IP address of google.com. This is normally what we use this form of DNS not that we do not use reverse DNS, but it has a different purpose. And both of these serve both good greatness in the powers that they have. And they are both used out on the internet. So they are both essential for running the whole internet. So yeah, let's go to the reverse DNS. So this is very useful if you know the IP address of something but you want to know what that IP address belongs to which domain name. So this is why it's reverse. Now you're doing the opposite. So now you will request to your DNS server and send this query and saying that I have this IP address. I do not know the domain name for this. Can you send me the domain name for this IP address? And then the DNS server will respond with the query to you that this is google.com's IP address. So this is how they differ these two. So as I said before, they both have the use cases of whatever they are serving their purpose. So yeah, I hope this video has enlightened you about how the difference are and uh, how it is, <laughs> hopefully. So I hope to see you in my next video as well. Bye.